Hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Make Him Love You. Not like you. Love you. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about six common long distance relationship problems. And we're also going to be talking about solutions to these problems. You know, when we never just talk about problems, we always got to come up with a solution for you guys. If you haven't, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button. That way you can get alerts every time I drop a new video. A lot of you really depend on my channel. A lot of you is changing your life. So I know a lot of you know people out there say, oh yeah, subscribe, hit the bell notification. No, you better hit that bell because when I upload a video, it's gonna it's gonna change you. It's gonna change you. And it depending on if you use the information or not, right? So we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna get right into it. So um first things first is miscommunication, right? So in order to make a long distance relationship last, you got to be really, really good at communicating. And the reason why 90% of people these days do not sustain a long distance relationship is because they can't communicate properly with people. If you can't communicate properly with people, you won't sustain any type of relationship. I'm going to go ahead and say that again one more time so that it can marinate in your head. Okay? Ready? Here we go. If you cannot maintain communication with somebody, you will never have a happy relationship. Okay? Or it won't last. It just won't last. And that's just, I, I, and I know a lot of you, you know, go to these other YouTube channels looking for the lovey-dovey stuff. You look for stuff that's going to tell you you're doing it right. People that are going to tell you that. I'm not, we don't do that here. We tell the truth here on Make Him Love You. We give the truth and nothing but the truth. Because we're about progress. Right? So... What do I mean by this miscommunication? Well, I'll go into more detail for you, right? If you haven't spoken to your said partner or crush in, let's say, a couple weeks, that's too long. That is way too long. Hello, that's too long. Right? You gotta stay engaged. You gotta stay interested. You gotta stay up to date. You gotta keep messaging the person. You gotta put in work. You gotta, it, it's not gonna come by you not communicating. That's the first step. You got to, you got to communicate. Right? What does this mean? Now, what do you do? I'm going to tell you what you do. Well, does it mean to message them every single day? Um, I always do this. Whenever something comes up or whenever you feel the urge to message them, send them a message. There is no secret. There is no game to any of this. It's all about attraction and how long you can keep that attraction. You can't have attraction with somebody if you're not messaging them. It just is not going to work. It's just not there. It doesn't work. It's not possible. All right? So in order for you to do this, you have to maintain that communication, right? So that's number one. Number two is going to be jealousy. Jealousy. Now, why do I say jealousy? Well, I'm going to tell you why I say jealousy. I say jealousy because... A lot of the times, long-distance relationships don't work because somebody is obviously cheating. Can we just be real really quick? Can we just be real? Somebody's cheating in this relationship. Somebody's cheating. Think about it. 
somebody is cheating. Not all, re now, 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 don't bash me in the comments. Not all long distance relationships, you know, obviously some are good. If you follow these steps, you'll be good, right? Don't be jealous, right? Contain your jealousy. Meaning what? Meaning this, social media. When you see your man or spouse or crush or whatever, hugging up on another girl, right? It does not mean that this is his future wifey. That's not what that means. This is not his future wifey. Stop being jealous every two seconds. Let the man breathe. And you want to know something? That goes vice versa. Don't worry, ladies, I got you. That goes vice versa, right? So the jealousy has got to stop. And guess what that stems back to? Communicating. Oh, who is that girl I saw you holding, putting your arm around in your story or in your post? Oh, oh, that was just, um, we grew up together. Or, oh, that was just a girl in my class. Or, oh, that was just my coworker. Or this or this or that, right? Now, granted, the sucker could be lying, but we don't know that, right? Then, that, then you're going to have to do an investigation. And to be honest with you, you wouldn't have known that if you didn't communicate, right? So... Step, everything goes back to step one, and you're going to see. Step three is, you know, loneliness. You don't have to feel lonely, but at the end of the day, that's what's going to happen when you're in a long-distance relationship. Do I say to be, to, do, do I um, recommend being in a long-distance relationship? No, I do not recommend being in a long-distance relationship. No way, Okay. I need to be able to feel and touch you. Boo, boo. I need to be able to feel and touch you. Boo, boo. Okay? If I'm not feeling and touching you and we're not having any of that, the relationship isn't going to last. This channel is, this is not a bunch, this is not a fairy tale. This is not a fairy tale channel. This is real. Let's just keep it real. Keep it real. If I can't feel and touch you, guess what the, your man's going to do? He's going to go to another woman and he's going to do it to them, right? So guess what we're going to do? We're going to seem occupied. Not all the time, but be on your purpose. Get on your game. Get that promotion at work you wanted, right? See, a relationship isn't just about love. It's not just about liking somebody. It's about building around that person. If you're not building around me, I don't want to be with you, right? That's what's important. And that's what's going to keep you in the game. So how do you stop being lonely? Get on your purpose. Get on your grind, sis. Get on your grind. That's how you do it. Right? Number four is going to be just drifting apart. You guys drift apart. Started off strong, started off hot. This is why I say when you first meet somebody, do not come off too strong. Do not come off too strong. Do not come off with the dirty messages too quickly. Calm down. Slow your roll. Okay? Why don't why do you think one night stands are called one night stands? Why don't you think relationships usually ever come out of them? I'm not saying they never come out of any of them, but let's be real, because you already got what you wanted. There's no chase. It's just Y y y y that's it right and it happens all the time it happens all the time so how do you stop drifting apart communication I told y'all we're gonna we're gonna keep coming back and forth to this communication thing it's because it's really important if you're not communicating with your per partner you're eventually gonna drift and that's just the reality of it right Sometimes, even when you communicate, it happens, right? And then you move on. That's what you do with that. That's what you do with that. Then you move on, right? Number five is going to be time. And this goes back to spending time with the person, right? Time is something 
and I've said this in videos, that you cannot buy. You can't go to the store and say, oh, excuse me, sir, I'd like to buy a bag of time, please. Can't happen. Doesn't happen. Will it ever happen? No. We don't control time. You can't bag it. So, you know, spending time with each other is extremely important. If you can only see the person a couple times a month, then make sure you're having fun and using that time to your advantage, right? Use that time to your advantage. Got to. You got to, boo-boo. You got to do it, okay? So, number six and this is up there with communication. It does not trump communication, but it is up there. It's trust issues. Yes, I said it, trust issues. Some of you still have them. And I don't know what you're gonna do, but we're in 2019. And honestly, if you don't communicate, you're gonna have these trust issues because you're not talking to the other person and it's it's just it's just everything is going on a blur. Now you don't know what's going on. Now you're 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 even if you're talking to them, you gotta say the right things. Speak up if you see something. Don't see that person with another female and just be quiet about it. Of course you're gonna have trust issues if you're quiet about it. You gotta speak up, right? You gotta speak up. Got to speak up. Very important. very 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 important so number six is gonna be trust issues now I have homework for you guys for you ladies I want you to share this video with five friends share this video with five friends that you think are going through something similar or that could use my videos right five friends and tell them tell them you know spread the message tell them about it and try to help as much as you can we have to help each other we're all in this together this concludes the video make sure you leave a like subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get updated and get alerts every time I update update a new video you guys are awesome you guys are amazing thank you so much for sticking through um, I hope everybody had a great week, a great weekend, and and I you know I I just look forward to keep making more videos for for everybody. I love the positive comments. I love them, and I'm gonna start shouting more people out. Um, I'm gonna start going live. Um, that way you guys can in interact with me more down the road. Um, so I'm just looking forward to everything. Okay, you guys have a blessed day, and I am out.